Hey guys, welcome to day five of our tennis technique and fitness challenge. I'm also sharing this out with people on YouTube for free today so you can see what we're doing inside the 30 day tennis technique and fitness challenge. This is a feel good workout. It's especially designed to help players really improve their footwork technique from a 3 0 to 4 5 level. All right, anybody doing this workout is going to get a benefit from it and you're going to feel great after doing it. All right, so what I have right here is a topspin. Pro, which I'm gonna be using today, but guess what? I'm gonna start the workout by moving the topspin pro out of the way, and I'm going to place a tennis ball down right here on this orange target set up. So I'm gonna put this down right there and I'm gonna use that, all right? And the first thing I usually like to start out with is I like to start out with some forehands. But one of the biggest things that you're gonna get a benefit of is usually whenever I start a lesson, I start hitting with somebody, I ask them if they're ready, right? People travel, you know, across the country and I'll say, are you ready to play? And they're super excited. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to play, Pete and they're not moving their feet, okay? So it's so important to get into what I call boxer shuffle. If you notice, Rafael Nadal when he's hitting does, Roger Federer, all the pros, they get in this nice boxer shuffle, they're ready to play. Then you're getting set and you're swinging over the target and then back and make sure you get a split step. Make sure you get a nice wide base. So split step, nice wide base. Coming, hitting again, we're gonna do 10, that's two. Split step, go, getting right back on those feet. Split step, Three, right back on those feet. Split step, four. Make sure you're just not watching this, you're doing it. Split step, five, getting set. Split step, six, on the toes. Split step, seven, that's right, really let it go. Split step, eight, and go again. Push the hips into that ball. Nine, yes, I am stepping into that shot. We're not hitting open stance right now, we're stepping in. And 10, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do 10 backhands. Doesn't matter if you have a one hand or two hander, I'll kind of mix up one and two hands, but the same thing. The biggest thing I don't wanna see you do is set over here too soon and then start your momentum. I wanna see the back hip and then push into the ball, okay? So you're on your toes, split step, one, coming through. Getting set, split step, two, coming through. Getting set, split step, three. I'll do a two-hander, four. That's why I hit within the juniors. I kind of forget how to do it. Five, but it feels fun to practice. Six, split step, seven, split step, eight, split step, nine, and one more, split step, and 10. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, now I'm gonna get out my Tospin Pro, guys, okay? I love this, if you don't have one, I'll put a link either on the membership page, if you are a 30-day uh, member, it'll be on your membership page. If you are not a member, I'm gonna put the link um, below in the comments section. And now that we don't have no idea how long we're gonna be inside. It's a great idea to get yourself a Tospin Pro. I love doing it. it. Makes my workout a lot more fun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on going side to side from forehand to backhand. Okay, so I'm going to work on getting out of the way. I did this on day one, but we need to keep working on this. Not enough people work on getting out of the way. You really want to explode out of the way of the tennis ball. A big mistake people make is like, oh, this is an easy shot. I'm just going to wait for it to come in. Then you kind of step out like this, and all of a sudden you realize you're still too close. Okay, that's one of the biggest mistakes I see when I teach people. They see a ball, they just step back, and then they're hitting in all close here, rather than dancing out of the way. Okay, think of yourself like a matador. Get out of the way of that bull coming at you and then push on in, okay? So here we go. We're gonna go from forehand to backhand. All right, get out of the way and hit. 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 A little break. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be hitting 
about five or six balls and we're gonna take like little breaks okay until we feel good like we're ready to go again because we're not going to be hitting most of our points you know 30 balls we're just probably going to be hitting between three and six balls on some of our rally longer rallies okay so here you go again get out of the way hit get out of the way hit get out of the way hit i'll see if i can hit a two-hander hit get out of the way hit one more get out of the way and hit okay a little break look at your strings walk around breathe in the air okay think about the next point start to get back in that boxer shuffle one more time get out of the way hit 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 and a one-hander bam and break okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our volley we're gonna work on forehand volleys let me give you a little lesson on the forehand volley one of the biggest mistakes people make I think one of the biggest mistakes we make as coaches is we tell people on the volley make sure you get a nice shoulder turn well, if I get a nice shoulder turn, especially if I start to bring this other leg around, look how far the racket goes back. And imagine somebody hits the ball really hard at you. How are you going to get out there in front really quick where it needs to be? Your first move is you want to think like you're playing baseball, like you're a shortstop, and you need to move that hand right away. You need to be good at catching the ball. So it's here, it's relaxing the wrist, finding the ball, and then pushing it. If you've got a meatball ball and you have extra time, you can find it, then turn your shoulders and pop the ball, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do some forehand volleys to where I'm gonna work on a double hop. I think especially when we're in the net, right? It's important to get a double hop. I like as many hops as you can get in between balls even on the ground strokes, but if you're just doing one hop on the ground stroke, that's fine, but I want you to kind of volley and then double hop, like get on those toes. If you cannot hop, if you're like, Pete, I have no knees anymore, if you can just kind of do like a lazy bounce, you can go bounce, bounce, see that? I'm not even jumping, okay? So you can do that too. So here you go, hop, hop, forehand volley. 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 Okay, a little break. Now, we're gonna work the backhand volley. Okay, I want you to get really good at moving that top hand, keeping that wrist locked up, elbow all the way locked out, hold the backhand like you're a waiter holding a tray. Okay, so here we go. Hop, hop, volley. 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 One more, hop, hop, volley. Okay, a little break while you're taking your break. I wanna remind you, make sure you go to the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube and then the comments section. If you sign up, it's only $37 for 30 days, okay? And 25% of that money is going to the United Way so they can fight the coronavirus. If you're a member watching this inside the membership, make sure to continue to share this with your friends, family, teammates, coaches, because my goal is to raise $5,000 for United Way to help them fight the coronavirus. Okay, so here we go. Now watch this. Now again, we're gonna pretend that the ball is coming right at us. So we're gonna be here, out of the way volley. Here, out of the way volley. Here, out of the way and 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 volley. Okay, little break. All right, notice it's not too hard, right? It's just, but it's getting you active. Think about how much do you stay on your toes and move. When's the last time when a ball came to you that you danced out of the way? You want to learn this skill. All right, you want to learn this skill. Now, what I'm going to do now is now what I'm going to do is I'm putting the, it a little further ahead. And now I'm gonna practice my approach shot. So I'm gonna be dancing at the camera. So what I'm gonna practice is lots of people, when they, they get an approach shot, they run to the ball, they stop, they hit, and then they move. You wanna dance through this thing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a topspin approach shot, and I like a double hop. If I really see a sitter going, I wanna hop, hop, hit, and move through. And then I'm gonna run past the camera for you guys. So I'm gonna hop, hop, hit, and notice I'm not gonna stop, I'm gonna move through. So here we go, hop, hop, hit, move through the ball, 
and I jog. And then I want you to jog back, okay? Don't walk back, jog back. You go hop, hop, skip in, and go through. Keep skipping through the ball, okay? Keep your eye on the ball. That was a miss hit, that was a shank. Hop, hop, I gotta get under it more, hit it, and that was perfect. That would have been a winner right there. And notice I just keep jogging through. I'm gonna do two more, hop, hop, hit, and keep moving through. We got one more to go. Get used to this footwork, hop, hop, hit, and go. You see, this is the way that you're gonna get better when you don't have a tennis court. When's the last time you were this specific with all your footwork moves? I'm willing to say, maybe never, okay? So, people don't believe you can get better with no tennis court and no ball. Look at this. Again, you might be thinking, I don't have a topspin pro, no fair, I can't get better. I must turn off this video. No, you don't have to. You can, again, you can practice this stuff with no ball. So I'm gonna look to hit right over this cone here. I'm gonna do a hop, hop, and I'll practice my backhand in my junior day. So I'm gonna come up, hop, hop, hit, and move through. And make sure you keep running. So again, hop, hop, hit. Look at that, really dance on top of that ball. If you get the ball, pretend you're getting this ball higher and you're really short in the court, you can actually hit down on the ball. You can see the other side of the court. So we're gonna crush this ball down. Use our leverage. That's why sometimes you see the pros like actually jump up and hit those backhands because they can leverage on the ball. So hop, hop, boom, explode through that. Oh yeah, one more, one more, one more. And then you know what comes next, we're gonna do opposite ones. So here you come, hop, hop, explode, and move through. I wanna do a one-hander. I wanna do a one-hander here. So here we go, hop, hop, boom. Oh yeah, all right. We are rocking now, guys. Now, next thing I wanna practice, because do not forget the value of a chip approach shot. Okay, especially when you're out there, you're a 3.5, you're a 4.0, you can make that ball skid, you gotta make your opponent bend down and hit up. Now this is guaranteeing you. I got to talk to the great John Newcomb one time, one of the best serving ballers. Go watch him play a match on YouTube. You got some extra time? Watch him play a match, I'll put the link here. Watch him play a match against Jimmy Connors at the Australian Open, and look at how that man could volley. And he'd say, as long as I could get the ball above my waist, I shouldn't miss a volley. So, if you're getting that ball low, guess what? They gotta hit up, you're getting volleys above your waist, shouldn't miss a volley. So, to get a nice forehand chip a shot, all you gotta do is think about getting ready for what? Your forehand volley. So again, I want you to get your hands set, then how much time you have depends on how much you're gonna move back here, and it's a volley off the bounce. But you wanna move through it, okay? So I wanna turn to the side a little earlier, and kind of be dancing the ball and then push through it. Notice how I'm doing a little karaoke step there, which means I'm pushing this foot back and pushing through. This comes back and then slingshots me forward, okay? So you wanna learn that little dance move, get to the net. It looks so cool, it looks so stylish. Even if you can't make it, your friends will be going, wow, that looked pretty cool. Even though you missed it completely. So here you go, you get here. Oh, that was bad footwork. See, I was, I was thinking too much about my joke. So first I want to get set to the outside leg. Got to the outside leg and then push through. Come on in. Now we're going to do backhand side. So it's a similar thing. You get ready for that backhand volley, although you probably bring it back a little more and you jut that racket butt out. And you want to think about a nice long, a nice long push through the ball. This is one of my favorite approach shots. I'll take this over my tossman approach shot any day where I come here, knife through, get in, and keep running. I'm gonna keep jogging, guys. Keep jogging, you're in your driveway, you're in your living room. Get here, push through, keep jogging, keep moving. And imagine, visualize yourself. Imagine this cutting right through the court and you come on in and you're excited. You're excited. You're like, this is way more fun than being on the treadmill. Put 
crushed and come through. This is something that if you are a member inside of my program, I want you taking a video and sending it and I'm going to analyze it for you, okay? You know what tool to use. I'm not going to tell the non-members because it's a secret, but you use our special tool and we can communicate with each other back and forth. If you want to find out what that tool is, if you're on YouTube, make sure you click below. You click that link so you can sign up and get involved in our 30-day tennis technique and fitness challenge. It is awesome. Now, I'm going to do a combo. So I'm going to take the approach shot back here. So I'm going to do a one hop so I got room and then a closed volley. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a one hop, closed volley. So what do I got to practice there? This is a big thing. I mean, if I could get an extra dollar in every lesson, every time I catch somebody coming to the net with a forehand approach shot and they still have their forehand grip, I wouldn't even have to make this video. I'd be on a beach somewhere, my own beach, so I wouldn't have to worry about social distancing, okay? So, you want to make sure when you hit this, watch this. This is a tip not many people talk about. You hit this shot, you catch the follow through, you change the grip. Okay, this is a perfect time now that you can't go out on the court and play. This is a perfect time to practice this in your home. Just swinging, switch the grip. Swing over your shoulder, catch it, switch the grip. See that? What am I, what am I in now? I'm in that continental grip. So watch this. I'm going to come here. Push, get set, I switch the grip. I just put away the volley on you. I'm going to do it again, because guess what? I'm going to do six of these. That's one. Okay? Hit, switch grip, volley. That's two. Oh yeah, here we go. Back pedaling, hit, push, switch grip, three. Getting back, coming here, pushing in, hit, switch grip, volley. Okay, one more time, getting set, push in, push, switch grip, volley. Okay, now, guess what? I'm gonna do the same thing on the backhand side, but I'm going to hit, a chip approach shot, and then I'm gonna volley, and then guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit an overhead. Okay, so for an overhead, what I wanna do right away is I wanna get in what I call the secret power source position. I'm gonna see the ball, I'm gonna turn here, and I'm putting my racket tip forward this way, so you can actually just hold your racket like this right now. See that angle? This is a power position. Most people, when they get ready, they flop it back like this, and then they start moving like this, and then they tap the overhead like that. You don't want to be that guy or woman. You want to be the one setting up like this, getting set, pop. Okay? So what I want you to do is you're going to get here in the secret power source. You hold the racket like you're going back, like you are Tom Brady who just got traded to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to get set, stay in secret power source. You're going to hold up the ceiling and bam, okay? So you hold up that roof up there, get set, hold up the roof. That's another thing that people do is they get set like this. You don't want to do that either, okay? So watch what I'm going to do here. I'll just do a couple overheads for you. I get here, I turn, and I get right in, just like I'm a quarterback coming back. Now you can either just side shuffle like this, which looks like this, or you can do a crossover step like that. That's more advanced and that will get you to cover more ground faster if you have to get back for a tough overhead. So I'm going to do that crossover step, get set, step in and pop. I'm not going to do the scissor kick today. That's another video, right? But you got to join the 30 day challenge to do it. If you're a member, I love you already because guess what? We're doing this together. I'm coaching you and you're helping United Way because I just, I'm going to send 25% of everybody who signs up to the United Way. Our goal is to raise $5,000. Okay, watch this. Chip, volley, get set, bam, that's one. Run back, run back. Let's make that approach shot, bam. Let's make that volley, oh my gosh, it looks good. Let's get up there. Hit, that's two. Guess what we're gonna do, six. Here we go. Getting set, bam. Make that volley, get back, and go. Yes, that's three, get back again. Here we go, we got three more. Get set, hit it. Make the volley, get set up there. Four, here we go. Get set back here. Push, push, I feel like a junior again. Five, one more. See, that's why I was a good junior. I like to work. I like to do this stuff. This is so fun. Five, one more, getting set. 
Boom. This is more fun. This might be the most fun instructional video I've made in a couple years. And guess what? I have no tennis court. I have no tennis ball. Here's what I'm gonna do now. This is something we're gonna do to finish. We're gonna do 20 side to side. If you can't do 20 side to side, you don't have to. I'm going to. We're gonna do a body crossover, body crossover. Thanks so much for joining me. 20, if you can just do five, that's fine. If you can just do 10, that's fine. But I'm gonna do 20, side to side, move as fast as I can while keeping good technique even though I'm gonna be tired. Halfway through, I'm gonna be pretty tired. So watch this. One, get that ball. Two, get that ball. Three, get that ball. Four, get that ball. Five, get that ball. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, we're halfway there. 11, 12, 13, 14. Let me make sure you can see me. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we're done. I want you to do at least a 10 minute stretch. I'll talk you out here as I'm kind of like relax. I'm gonna raise the racket over my arms here. And again, if you watch this in your membership area, because you are a 30 day member of the Tennis Technique and Fitness Challenge, you are awesome. And when this is all over, my goal is I'm going to be sending a check for $5,000 to United Way. So make sure you keep telling your friends. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you're clicking the link in the description. Make sure you're clicking the link in the comments section. Another thing I'm doing at this crazy time is if you're in the tennis business, if you're in the restaurant business, if you're in a job that you didn't like for many, many years, but you feel like now's the time, like since you have no better options, right? It's gonna force you maybe to do something great. When you sign up for the 30 day challenge, notice in the add to topping section, I'm actually teaching people how to grow a successful business online. So you can also sign up for that. Pretty cool. I've thought about doing this for many, many years, guys, because I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars learning how to grow my own tennis business because it's my passion that I get to share with the world and meet awesome people like you. Uh, but when I see all these businesses going out of business and I see everything shutting down, I'm like, oh my gosh, how can you make it? Especially how can you make it unless you're like fantastic online. So no matter what you're doing, no matter what business you're working for, either the business you're working for better be great online or you better be great online. So that's another thing we're doing for a select few people. So I'll be almost like getting private coaching. <laughs> um, and I'll be teaching you how to grow an online business as well, okay? But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. All you YouTubers out there, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and sign up for the 30 Day Challenge. All you members out there, you know I love you. We are together, we're doing a great thing. And make sure that you do your assignment for the day. You got a challenge. Oh, here's another thing, guys. Every day when you're a member, we're, you're in a raffle to like win free courses, like my Upgrade Your Forehand course, like my No Fear Net Play course, like my Backhand Mastery course, giving away the books, uh, the Roger Federer book. I'm giving away a, a Grip Right trainer. Do I still have it in my pocket? Well, I know I should have it in my pocket somewhere. I guess it fell out. But anyway, I'm giving away lots of stuff. Every day we're giving away different stuff. I'm gonna end this video. It looks like I got some cigarette butts to pick up out here in the driveway. Hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you tomorrow. All you members, we'll see you tomorrow for day six. All you non-members, come on now. Sign up. Let's do this.